Alright, uh, first thanks everyone for watching, commenting, and rating my tutorials. And a special thanks to DJ700D for the tutorial request. As always, if you have any questions or uh, requests of your own, feel free to leave them in the comments. As you may have guessed, we'll be making a Galaxy today. And uh, the goal was to make one without the use of a stylus, which was something that I actually did um, in the last video. So I did some research, and I found a tutorial that was alright, but I felt it was lacking. So I went ahead and I expanded on it. Now, unfortunately, due to time constraints, um, I'm going to have to split this into two sections. Um, it doesn't matter how many times I've recorded this or how fast I went. Um, it just is over 10 minutes, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's just jump in. C create a new canvas. I did 500 by 500 as a sample, as I usually do. You can go bigger, as always. Just keep in mind, you're going to have to increase your numbers, like your spatter levels. I'll point that out later. Um, Background is black. Go ahead, insert a new layer. Go ahead and say Filter, Render, Fibers. I'm using a variance of 16 and a strength of 14. Hit OK. Go ahead and do this again with a new layer. Fill it in black. Filter, Render, Fibers. OK. Now, Transform. Rotate it 90 degrees, the top layer 90 degrees. Hit OK. And then change the blending to Soft Light. Merge the two layers together. Then adjust the brightness and contrast. Brightness will go up to 50 and contrast all the way to 100. Now, back to filter, distort, and twirl. Now, we're literally making the concentric circles for the galaxy, so keep it somewhere between 500 and 600. Um, if you want to go larger, you can. Just keep in mind it's how detailed you want to go, how um, how massive the galaxy is going to be. It's it's your choice. Um, but like I said, 500 to 600 is usually a good number. I'm using 651. All right. Select your elliptical marquee tool and holding shift and option at the same time, selecting from the center. I'm creating this perfect circle and I'm going to select the portion of the galaxy that I'm going to use, keeping in mind not to be selecting parts of the Toro where the edges are flaring outwards like that. Now, without doing anything, I'm going to say select inverse and delete. And without unselecting, I'm going to select Modify Expand. Expand it by 20 pixels. Select Modify Feather. And this time I'm using 10. OK. And hit Delete. And you'll notice that our sharp edge just got softened to make it a little bit more natural. Go back to Filter. Brush Strokes. Spatter. This is where I was saying that uh, your large, larger canvases are going to be needing larger numbers. I'm using spray radius of 15 and smoothness of 15. Again, if it's up to 2,000, go ahead and crank it all the way up, otherwise you're not going to notice that much of a difference. Hit OK, and then back to select and say color range. Now you'll notice that our picture just got inverted, and uh, because I've been doing this so many times, this picture is already normal. You may see an inverted image here too, but if you select just normal image, we're going to see something normal. Now what you're trying to do is select a dark portion of the top layer in order to filter out all the black and leave only white. If you notice when you hit OK, it just selects all the white that's around and deselects everything. So when I delete, I have a white twirl on a black background. Now that's excellent. We're going to call this layer Galaxy. Now, to create a little bit more detail, duplicate this layer. We're going to call this the uh, middle. Now, transform, and ho again holding Shift and Option to constrain the proportions. Shrink it down to just about 50% of the size and rotate it 90 degrees. OK. Do that one more time. Duplicate the middle layer. Call this core. Transform constrain the options and bring this down to the core or how big you want the core to be and again rotate that 90 degrees. Hit OK. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit complicated. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to walk you through this step by step. All of the magic is going to be happening right here in the layers to keep in mind, okay? So, we have our galaxy middle and our core. Duplicate the galaxy layer and call this cl 
cluster glow, okay? Take the middle, back down, and merge it with Galaxy. Duplicate core. I call this core glow, okay? Then grab your core layer, bring it down, and merge that with Galaxy. Then duplicate your Galaxy layer one more time and call this Galaxy Glow. Now you have four different layers. Your Galaxy Layer, Galaxy Glow, Cluster Glow, and Core Glow. Now, you need to make, now we need to make these into glows. So, your Galaxy Glow, Filter Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm going to use something not that large. Two? Uh, three. Three to four is a good number. Okay. With the cluster glow, go ahead and do the same thing. Blur, Gaussian blur. Three is a good number. And do the same thing for core. Filter blur, Gaussian blur. All right. Now with these, change these to uh, the blend modes to screen on each of your glows. Ta-da! We have a pretty nice looking galaxy forming up here. And this is where I'm going to split it in half. 